Welcome back to the channel guys. In today's video, what I want to do is review some of this TAC-22 ammunition from Norma that I'm having malfunctions with in this Ruger 22-45 light that I use for competition. So maybe in some of my other videos, you guys noticed that I had a lot of malfunctions with this ammunition of, you know, the failure to eject and maybe a few little stove pipes. And all my other ammunition trials that I've used, Federal, CCI, and Aguila, I've never had any major malfunctions or virtually zero malfunctions that I can remember. But with this ammunition, for some reason, I get a lot of failures to eject. Now I do have the upgraded Volt in ejector and the firing pin in this gun. So I really minimize the risk of having any kinds of malfunctions. And I just cleaned this gun very well and it's all oiled up as well. So, you know, I wanna take as many variables away as I can. So this Norma TAC-22 ammunition is actually lubed up with some sort of uh, grease from the manufacturer. They say it's supposed to increase the lubricity and less failures. So I think though that that is actually causing more problems because this kind of ammunition is not giving me any feeding issues in any of my other 22 pistols or rifles. So what I did is I have a box of the normal stuff here and then I have this box that I went home and cleaned each and every round. So what I wanna do is then shoot three magazines, 10 rounds each. So 30 with the uncleaned ammunition right here and then the cleaned ammunition here. So let's go ahead and see real quick if that cleaning actually helped and if maybe that lubricity that they put on at the manufacturer is causing the issues. All right, so I just got some of this magazines loaded and just really quick, this ammunition is about 1,083 feet per second. So the velocity probably shouldn't be an issue in this Ruger pistol here that I have for competition. So I have the magazines loaded. Let's go ahead and do the dirty ammo first. All right, let's get started. I just have a steel target there, nothing serious here with paper or anything, but we'll go ahead and shoot the first round of the uncleaned ammunition, the original as it is in the packaging and see how it goes here. I'll probably try to shoot at a normal tempo instead of slow, super fast. See, right there. One failure, it didn't eject all the way. It did fire. And we got some more ammunition in the magazine. Same thing. And we're out, okay, two malfunctions. Second mag, stove pipe. This time it clicked. It did shoot, it just didn't eject, I guess. And we are using a clean gun and it's all lubed up, the bolt and everything. So that was uh, two, two malfunctions I think there too, so four total. And that one, no malfunctions. But yeah, since I'm using this, trying to find a good ammunition for competition, I definitely don't want malfunctions. So with that, I guess I'm not surprised because that's what I'm used to anyway with this normal ammunition. Let's try the cleaned ammunition now. This is all the same ammo, same controlled tests. I did load the clean ammunition first so I wouldn't get lubricity on my hands affecting the clean ammo, right? All right, cleaned ammunition. Okay, so I got a stove pipe. Same thing, stove pipe. That one fired, but didn't eject. Same, that's three or four. Fifth malfunction, sixth malfunction, seventh malfunction. All right, seven, I don't know, I have to recount. Did I have seven in there? Only three of them went. I think it's the third one. Fourth. Four malfunctions. I guess that was the fifth one because that one didn't eject either. So that's up to 12 so far. Maybe the clean day ammunition doesn't make it any better. It's making it worse. One. Or 13. 14. That one's all jacked up. You can see it tried to pull it in the, the other round before the uh, 
casing came out, so it's kind of stuck in there. Load this up real quick. I already lost count. I have a lot of malfunctions. Ah. Okay, that one actually worked. I was just so used to clearing malfunction, I was gonna go ahead and just do it. Throw that in there real quick. Okay, that was good. I got one more round. Don't wanna waste it. Might as well use it. Okay, all right. I'm missing the O-ring on here. That would have made the clearing of the malfunction a little bit easier and better on my fingers, but it broke and so I ordered a new one and it hasn't arrived yet. It should be arriving today, but I came out here before it arrived. But anyways, I would say that, you know, I was completely wrong about the lubricity. I think maybe, you know, the lubricity or the lubrication that Normal puts on their rounds on their 22 actually maybe doesn't hinder it that much. Maybe it actually helps it because I was getting more malfunctions with the cleaned ammunition. And so I don't really know what's wrong with this gun and this type of ammunition. But again, there's no failures. You can see in all my other videos with the Aguila Federal and CCI. It could, it could just be the way that, you know, this ammunition isn't enough to send the bolt back and, and cycle again. But that, I don't know if that's a real legitimate uh, reason or cause because I have ammunition that has less feet per second or less velocity, which is the Federal Suppressor 45 grain that I'm using for competition now, just because there's hardly any recoil with that. And that's like 983 feet per second or something. And this stuff is, you know, 100 feet per second more, or it's at least around that area. So not sure what it is. Uh, don't use Norma TAC-22, even though it, I would say it is good ammunition and is made by a quality company in Germany, it's just not going to be good in the Ruger Mark IV 22-45 light, at least in my experience. This should probably be pretty great in other pistols like the Walther P22 that I've tried it in, and also any Ruger like 1022 or the Ruger bolt action rifle. So I bought a ton of it. I guess I'm just going to have to use it for those guns and for the Ruger Mark IV 22-45 light the Norm Attack 22 is not going to help you. But I thought I could save this ammunition for competition by maybe cleaning it all and running it through. But yeah, I still had a lot of malfunctions, so I'm going to stay away from it in this gun, uh, unless I want to practice some malfunctions in, uh, in training or something like that. But anyway, guys, if you like this video, go ahead and click like and subscribe to this channel. If you like what you see and have some feedback and comments, go ahead and put that in the comment section. I usually get back to you as soon as possible. If you don't like this video, go ahead and click the thumbs down button twice, and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you